All right, Shalom, Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahushai, the Buanas to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the out there doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. All right, and this is an update on the EMV RFID technology that is already here. All right, now, you know, as previously stated, you know, this, these EMV technology cards, credit cards, and debit cards, they're supposed to be started. For October 25th, uh, I mean, uh, slack it, uh, October of this year, okay, and um, but in all actuality, they're already here, you know. And uh, talking with brothers at the camp, and you know, uh, you know, the brother Taz of War, he basically put me on that, you know, uh, you can actually already go to the stores and you can use them, and you know, I happen to show you know the brother my card, and you know. And come to find out that I had one. Now, I really didn't pay it any attention because I had just got the card. So, you know, knowing that now I had the card, and then it made sense that, you know, obviously if they're pushing it already, you know, this technology and to be able to use it in stores has to already be here. So, you know, with having that information, you know, you know, I just decided to dig a little further and see, you know, uh, what this card is really about and what's these devil's ultimate agenda and how everything works, so on and so forth. So I did a little bit of field work and, you know, uh, just doing a little bit of research on things. So, you know, uh, with that, you know, just going to jump into uh, these clips of edification and stuff that I have. All right, to further show, you know, that this technology is already here and it's leading us closer and closer unto the mark of the beast. All right, so with that, you know, I uh, hope this lesson is edifying. All right, so here we have, you know, uh, a regular bank card, okay, uh, as you can see, a Wells Fargo, you know, debit card, all right, and it's what, a visa, okay, it's a visa. Now, I'm going to show you what the new cards look like. Instead of just having a little logo, I'm going to show you what the new cards have. All right, as in the previous videos, as we've been getting into, you know, with this cast of society, you know, they've been having uh, what's known as now the EMV, the Euro MasterCard and the Visa, which has the RFID chip in it. All right. So now when you look at this card, you can see this new distinctive thing now here on the card. Now, this is the RFID chip that's actually inside of the card. As was shown in previous videos. Hey everybody, this is Captain Nemo. I've been hearing news and stories about RFID and how safe it is and how to hack your RFID enabled credit card so people can't clone it or you can't even use it at all. And uh, I thought to myself, hey, what is exactly in these cards? You know, I, there's the little area right here and you can see the little square when you get the light just right. But, uh, you know, what exactly is inside this thing? Uh, you know, what makes it tick? What, what's what's going on in here? Well, uh, I've got a new card on the way, and uh, I thought, hey, I'd go ahead and open this one up, get a little uh, Zacto knife, and I'll uh, see if I can cut this away and find out what's under I'm sure a lot of you know, and maybe some of you are curious. So here we go. I'll do a little time lapse uh, to speed things up, and we'll see what happens when I cut this open. <laughs> Well, there we go. There's the first part. It looks like it kind of goes along with the card here. Yeah, regular RFID chip. Well, not like your rice type style you see embedded in people. I, I'm no RFID authority, but I've seen a couple of them. Seen somebody try before? Or no? Yeah, yeah, it works. It do work? Yeah, but I'm not sure if your card is programmed or whatever. We just see. Uh, yeah, because I want. I want. People just... bring that card that don't work. But uh, it really works, so. Yeah, I want to try. So how I do it? I just what, wave it in front of it. Yeah, just wave it. Okay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> is this uh, this dope? Or well, just wave it like that? Turn it. What this? Which one? Try it. 
this one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you have it on this one. Like for me, I got I got a chase card, and I don't even have that chip in it, right? Yeah. But I I can keep it in my wallet and just bring it up. Case. Yeah. Yeah. Yours, yours got the same emblem right here. They don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Let me see. So what? They don't have it. But mine, I think it has something called I don't know. Link or what? This link. Oh, oh. I think once it has it on there, it could bring up. Oh, all right. Well, at least, yeah, I see they do got it in here. Though. Um, you know, basically, I just wanted to come to this uh, bank real quick, this Bank of America, and, you know, see what further info, you know, I can get as far as these RFID. Uh, cars, these EMV cars, all right. So with that, you know, we just go ahead, just try to get some further edification, and um, you know, see you brothers in a second. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh yeah. yeah. I just wanted to um ask a few questions yeah. about um, so I know they have these new uh, chip cards or whatever. Uh -huh. I was wondering, uh, do they? Cause I tried them at one. I don't know if it's a different system for them, but I know that the wave one was like uh, is one where you. Wave it in front oh, of that? Oh, oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not that. Oh, it's not that? Oh, it's the other one? Yeah. That one, this one is for, like, um, the only places that have this. This isn't the wave one, is it? You can't wave this in front of. It's the back, I think, that says it. Because I've I seen some of them that actually have the, uh, it's like the wave signs in the back of the car. Yeah. So I figured that's not that one. Yeah. I don't think we, do we do those at all? I don't think so. We don't do those yet. No? Yeah. Okay. This is for, um, because you know these get stolen all the time. Yeah. Right? So everybody's, the whole world has had these for a while. We just started. Okay. The whole world has had these for a while. We just started. Okay. If you're a credit card user, you've surely swiped the magnetic stripe on the back of your card countless times. But a more secure technology, already big overseas, is coming to our shores. Chip cards like this one are standard in most other countries. It's got a computer chip in the corner, sometimes called an EMV chip, which stands for EuroPay, MasterCard, and Visa. Those are the companies that created the standard for chip more than a decade ago. Once the EMV readers roll out in the U.S. in the next year or so, instead of swiping the stripe on your card, you'll dip the chip, insert the chip card into the machine, and then type in a personal identification number or sign the receipt. Having the cards also helps Americans traveling abroad, who are increasingly facing trouble using mag stripe cards overseas. For Europe, it's really inconvenient for travelers um, to have the magnetic strip card. You know, I got that eye roll when I was having lunch with my colleagues in the UK, and um, I wanted to pay for them, pay for the lunch, and I went to take out my, you know, my American credit card. And, oh my gosh, the waiter just gave me this big eye roll, kind of like, oh gosh, you Americans don't have a chip card yet? And this was actually... You know, at least three years ago. The whole world has had these for a while. We just started. Okay. So when you go to Walmart, for example, you won't be yeah. swiping this card anymore. You're going to okay. put it in the bottom and let it sit there the whole transaction so the card has to be present. Because you oh, know okay. people can make their own cards off of here. Yeah. Unfortunately, all the vendors haven't caught up with the technology, so not very many people use it yet. Even yeah. Target doesn't yet. Okay. So pretty much Walmart's the only one I've seen that uses it. So it's just to protect you so that people can't just make your card. Okay. And go in there and spend it, even though they still can right now because they have to. They can still swipe. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a phase. So we're just starting our cards like this, and then eventually the vendors will catch up. Okay. And then it'll be there. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. So um, yeah. So right. So from hearing you know uh the information from the lady at the Bank of America. You know, she said that, you know, those cards, they don't work with the Wave one, you know. So, obviously, what? We know that it's two different types of EMV cards, all right? So, you know, what she said was, what? That, uh, you know, that they only, that the place, the only place you know at, that they work is at the Walmart. Then there are the merchants. Some stores, such as Walmart, already have EMV machines in place, ready to be activated. 
They're under pressure from card networks such as Visa and MasterCard to make the switch by 2015. And you have to stick it underneath, you know, basically the slot, all right? And that perfectly makes sense because, you know, the brother I tells him, mom, you know, he had mentioned the same thing to me. So I'm going to just go in this uh, Walmart real quick, you know, just to test it out and to see if it actually works, you know, just for, for the edification to show brothers, you know, uh, what we're headed to in the near future. You know, now I'm just at the register, all right, just ringing up, you know, a couple of things, all right. You know, ringing up a few items at the register now. So, okay, it's finishing pay. Insert cash or select payment yeah. type. So. Use pin pad to complete transaction. All right, so you know, basically, here we go. This is the part right here. You can see where they have the chip payment for the chip card, okay? See, I got the chip card here. All right, so, you know, and that's all you do, man. So. Right, so, you know, ultimately, you know, it worked. But as you see on the screen, it says, uh, you know, waiting for a cashier. It worked, but, you know, she just had to come over and check it out or whatever like that. But, um, you know, basically, you know, as you heard, you know, the Edomite, you know, in the Bank of America saying how, you know, the credit and debit cards, you know, uh, they're always getting stolen and different things like this. So basically, you know, they're trying to push the agenda that they want these new EMV RFID cards to prevent credit and debit fraud. Okay, but that's all nonsense because these cards are not, uh, are no, no safer than your regular credit and debit cards. You know, I found one video where there was an Edomite, and he can basically read credit card information off an app on a smartphone, man. So just off a simple app on a smartphone, you can read people's credit card information and take their information off of their card just by your smartphone, okay? So all this nonsense about them trying to, you know, say that it's for, uh, you know, people's protection, you know, that's thrown out the window, man, you know? Ultimately, they're doing this so they can cause more panic. So when they actually put these cards fully into effect and people start complaining about uh, credit and debit fraud with these cards, now they're going to say, well, we need a more safer method. And that's going to take us deeper, deeper into the rabbit hole and closer and closer to the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay? Because the only way that these devils are actually going to say that things are safe where you don't have to worry about credit and debit fraud is if you implant that RFID chip in your flesh, man. Okay? As the scriptures say, you know? So that's these devils, their agenda. Okay, and what they plan on to push. And, you know, just to show, you know, a little further edification that these cars aren't safe. And I'm going to play this last clip of edification, you know, for you brothers before I close out. So, you know, I just hope this uh, lesson was edifying. All right. So with that, you know, I'd like to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Lekman out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and truth and sincerity. Shalom. The death to America. Now to a tiny device inside your credit card and debit card that might be putting you at risk of fraud. Whether you're buying groceries or gas or dinner to go, nowadays you can just wave your card and you're on your way. It's the latest technology in millions of credit and debit cards, thanks to a tiny chip hidden inside. It's called RFID radio frequency identification. This little device sends out a radio signal with your credit card information. It's designed to be a faster way to pay at stores all over town. But if you have one of these cards, oh my gosh, there's something else you should know. That's just really scary. That's crazy. Definitely odd that that can happen. Your credit card might not be as safe as you think it is. With what I have here, I can get your credit card number, your expiration date, and everything I need to make a clone card. Walt Augustinowitz is a credit card protection specialist. He bought this credit card reader off the internet for less than a hundred bucks. 
and he's about to use it at the Indianapolis airport. Oh. This is your credit card number right here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Is it? <laughs> wow, yes, it is. Oh. Wow. That's scary. Yeah. With permission, Walt is scanning for credit card numbers. And there's your MasterCard. Uh, that's pretty crazy. He's intercepting the credit card information right off the radio chip inside. You have uh, Amex in there? Yes. Yeah. Expiration date 0314. Oh I just read gosh. through there. Oh now, wow. Rather than actually taking um, your your credit card out of your, or your wallet out of your pocket and stealing it, that is my number. That's your Visa number right there. We're scanning the information we need off it without touching you. It's electronic pickpocketing, and Roberta Gonzalez just found out she's at risk. Did you recognize that number on there? Oh, that's my card. Yeah, that was my card. Walt got information from three of Roberta's credit cards because all of them have RFID. I heard about this, but I didn't think my cards were accessible to it. I thought for sure, surely this is not possible. It is possible, even if most consumers don't realize it. Do you know if you've got a credit card that's got radio frequency technology in it? Uh, no, I don't. Here's what to look for. A symbol similar to this one on your credit card or debit card, it's a sure sign it has radio frequency identification. If your card says pay pass, a wave or blink, it also has RFID. The nation's largest credit card companies all say radio frequency technology is very secure. Visa, MasterCard, and American Express sent statements to Eyewitness News, and all of them cite sophisticated fraud prevention, advanced capabilities, or powerful security to prevent misuse. And they say special safeguards mean even if crooks do intercept your credit card information, well, they can't do anything with it. But Walt disagrees. They're wrong. There it goes. Take a look at this. With permission from a credit card holder, Walt is taking information lifted from a radio frequency credit card and copying it onto his hotel room key. And watch what happens next. He takes the room key to a restaurant and he uses it as a credit card. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Yes. Yeah, we took what we scanned off from that card, put it on my hotel room key, and just walked over to that store, swiped it through, made a purchase. Nobody asked any, nobody even asked any question why it was a room key. We've done it at big box retailers for several hundred dollars without a problem. How easy is it? Too easy. Way too easy.